In this tutorial, we'll be setting up a document in Adobe InDesign for a full bleed trifold brochure. To get started, click the New Document button. We're going to use a page size of letter. We're going to turn the margins off. Let's put a zero and make sure that the orientation is set up for landscape. We're also going to create two pages and make sure that the facing pages box is not checked. If you don't see the bleed and slug options, then click on more options and it will show up. We're going to set a 0.25 inch bleed and our document's ready to go. Go ahead and say OK. So we'll see here, we now have two pages. The pages do not have any margins and a quarter inch of bleed. The next thing we need to do is set up some guides so we know where the fold is going to happen. So make sure you're on page one. We're going to right click on the ruler at the top and change the increment of measure to millimeters. Then using the left ruler, we're going to click and drag a guide out to 91 millimeters. We're going to click and drag the, the left ruler again and put another guide at 85 millimeters. Alright, so that's where the fold is going to take place on page one or the outside of the brochure. The inside of the brochure is a little bit different. The first guide we're going to set at 93 millimeters and the second guide at 187 millimeters. We now have the guides that show us where the fold is going to take place. But now we need to set up some guides so we know where the safe zone is for the content that we're going to place in the brochure. So going back to page one, we're going to change the increment of measure on the top ruler back to inches. And we're going to use the top ruler to drag some guides. The first one will be a quarter inch from the top. The next one quarter inch from the bottom. From each side of the page, one eighth to one quarter of an inch. For this tutorial, we'll use a one quarter. And we're going to do the same thing on each side of the fold. And we'll have to kind of approximate this because we used millimeters before. We need a guide on either side of each fold line. Go ahead and do this exact same thing on page two and you'll be ready to go.